Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. We are here to discuss dipole moment in BF3. First let us see what is dipole moment. Dipole moment is the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance between the centers of positive and negative charge. It is a vector quantity. To find the dipole moment in polyatomic molecule, let us see a beautiful mnemonic DP is nice. D stands for difference in electronegativity. P priority to longer bond length and smaller bond angle. If symmetry, no net polarity, individual dipole cancel each other. That means greater electronegativity difference and then longer bond length and smaller bond angle, dipole movement is greater. Even though if they possess all these things, if there is a symmetry, then there is no net polarity, individual dipole cancel each other and makes the dipole movement is equal to zero. So to know that whether that given compound that is BF3 has that symmetry molecule or not, we should know that hybridization of BF3. Hybridization of boron in BF3 is 3. So it means sp2 hybridization. So there is no lone pair on boron. Then this sp2 hybridization, so it gives that molecules the shape trigonal planar. So let us draw that BF3 molecule, boron in the center and fluorine and then there are one more fluorine. So this other planar molecule, the angle is 120 degree. So this is the symmetry molecule. So using this mnemonic, we can say that uh, since that there is a symmetry, the net, the net dipole moment is zero in BF3 molecule. Let us see that explanation. In BF3, fluorine is highly electronegative and then boron is less electronegative. Actually, this dipole moment is represented in crossed head arrow. So, the cross should be near that positive charge and the arrow should be near that negative charge. So, let us draw that. So, since that fluorine is highly electronegative, so we go to draw that the arrow should be near that fluorine and the cross should be near boron. The same way we can draw for the other to BF bond also. Then for this one, so arrow should be near fluorine and the cross should be near boron. So this we called as individual dipole. So this individual dipole that result in net dipole. So this if you are, if you draw the vector sum, we will get that uh, the net of these two dipole here. So net dipole, we can draw that net dipole. For this BF bond, we have that this way plus and then for this two BF bond, we are getting in opposite direction, isn't it? So that since both are in the opposite directions, when we add together, we get zero. So that is why the dipole moment in BF3 is zero. Just remember this mnemonic, DP is nice, D stands for difference in electronegativity, P priority to longer bond length and smaller bond angle, if symmetry, no net polarity, individual dipole cancel each other. Just remember this mnemonic, you can solve any dipole moment based question. Thanks for watching.